tone of voice even matter? We're about to find out. I'm Miss Fledis, your school counselor, and today we're playing another game about respect and tone of voice. Now, do you think it matters what your tone of voice is? Does it make any difference? We, we shall see. I have a set of statements here. We're going to play a game with Peace Bear and Puppy. They're sitting right next to me. What they will do is um, pick a statement card, and then before they read it, we'll spin a spinner to decide what tone of voice they are going to read the card in. So first, Puppy will go. He'll spin it, read the card in that tone of voice, and then Peace Bear will spin it and read it in a different tone of voice. And then we're going to decide which one was respectful and why. All right, here you go, Puppy. You get to be first. Can I do the dishes later? Can I do the dishes later? Let me ask you guys, which one do you think was more respectful? The frustrated voice or the excited voice? Hmm. I'm sorry, it won't happen again. I'm sorry, it won't happen again. Neither of those were very respectful. Let's try another one. I already did my work. Can I watch YouTube? Did my work. Can I watch YouTube? I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. What did you guys think about that game? Did you notice that different tones of voice indicated being respectful versus being not so respectful? Now we know to be aware of not only what we say, but how we say it. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Hope you had fun. Bye.